Hey guys, welcome back to the game. Today I'm going to be talking about Ultraman Decker yet again. So I wanted to make a video about the device up to 38 and 39 today, but I can't take the risk of Ultraman Decker's hype going down because these days, like this last week, Ultraman, like Ultraman Decker's hype is just going out of the roof. More hype than the episodes of Dawn Brothers and Revise. Of course, new Ultraman. I'm also very excited for this. So, I'm gonna be talking about Ultraman Decker trailer breakdown. Well, not exactly breakdown, trailer review. Trailer talk about. The trailer and the character. So, in the last video, I talked about the cast of Ultraman Decker. I didn't talk about like their personality or what they do inside the series. That's what I'm gonna ta also talk about today. I'm gonna talk about the villain, the oh, the forms of Decker, the sword that Decker use, the guts hawk and the guts griffon, and the synopsis. So let's just start. Let's get my web webcam out of the way first nope not that one okay so the trailer is five minutes long that's way too long for a trailer but it's good it tells us about a lot of things and yeah when i first saw that there was a new trailer i was like they're just gonna repeat the same things again but no they revealed more about the characters of course and then the sword, the villain, I was wrong. Well, the first trailer we got was only a teaser anyways. So yeah, so it starts with Decker's Henshin or Transformation. Asumi Kanata Transformation. I'm going to be talking about the transformation a bit more later. But now here is the title card. It's really cool. And at the beginning of the press conference, they they showed us the opening for Ultraman Decker. And I like it, but it's not as good as Pull the Trigger. Is that the name of the song? Or is it? Yeah, I think it's Pull the Trigger. As Ultraman Trigger's opening song. This is... I don't know, it's like... Well, the Ultraman Trigger's opening song is just so good. And this one, yeah, it's good, but not as good as Ultraman De I mean, Trigger's. I'd give Trigger's opening like 8.9 out of 10. I'll give this like a 7.9 out of 10. 7.8 actually. It's not that good. I'm not gonna show... The opening here because copyright. Okay, so before I'll talk about the characters, I'll talk about the synopsis. So before that, this is also this is also the same as Revise, where Revise is the thirty second entry in the Kamen Rider franchise. And Ultraman Decker is also the 32nd entry in the Ultraman franchise. It's also a sequel to Ultraman Trigger. It's not like a direct sequel. Like It takes place right after the like the Trigger episodes. It's It takes place a few years later. So the synopsis is the threat of monster attack fades and the earth seems once again at peace so they're talking about the let me just change the picture first Here. so they're talking about the trigger incident the threat of monster attack of fades and the earth seems once again at peace humanity turns its eyes to the stars and heads and heads to space while its monster attack countermeasures continue to shrink so the monster attacks are going more like shrinking and shrinking it's going it's very little monster attack so they're safe now but then it is in this new age when sphere 
an invading swarm of mysterious floating space objects begin to attack Earth. That's half of the synopsis. I'm gonna read about that more later. But here, here's our main character, Asumi Kanata. So I've talked about like the name reference to our main character in Ultraman Dyna, Asuka. See, Asumi Kanata. Asuka, Asumi Kanata. So yeah. Asumi Kanata, I'm gonna pull up the description of him first. Okay, so Kanata Asumi or Asumi Kanata is the main protagonist of Ultraman Decker, of course. He merged with the light of Ultraman Decker and joined the expert team, Gut Select, to fight against the spheres that are threatening the Earth. So he's 20 year old he's 20 years old here and his he's played by Hiroki Matsumoto I'm not gonna talk about the cast because I've talked about it in the last video he works at his father's rice cracker store he's close to their neighbors and regular customers and he leads just a peaceful life he is cheerful and a little goofy but he is kind-hearted young man who cares for others. He never ignores someone in need and sometimes goes overboard, throwing heart and soul into whatever task is before him. So it's just every main character in this Heisei Reiwa era of everything. Although uncertain what it means to become an Ultraman, he takes to it optimistically and tries to use his newfound powers for others. To this end, he joins the newly reformed expert team got select and with his fellow young team members they stand up against the threat of the sphere so he's just a random he's just a normal human being that suddenly found Decker's powers so Asumi Kanata just like other main characters in this Heisei and Reiwa era well by Heisei I mean like phase 2 Heisei going to the end Heisei like starting from Kota Heisei and this too Ultraman too like we never get a character that's like not wanting like to help with people like for example the rumors I talked about the rumors of Geats yesterday and there's a rumor that said Geats is a, is a lazy young man I don't know why but I like that to happen we need a new face to the Kamen Rider franchise, not just good people that likes to help people. Then here, this is what we call the Sphere. The main villain in this series, the Sphere. So just like Ultraman Trigger, the Ultraman Trigger's villains are Carmira, Hudram, and the Red One. And they are also the villains of Ultraman Tiga, their ancestor. Ultraman Trigger's new generation Trigger, while this is Ultraman Decker, new generation Dyna, even though it's not in the title. So, the Sphere. So, the Sphere is also the villain in Ultraman Dyna. The, the Spheres are the main antagonists of Ultraman Dyna and Ultraman Decker. They are a hive mind of life forms from space that attack planets with life, seeking to assimilate them to bring peace. So they he goes sphere goes by the name Uchu Q Taitu or Ankoku Waksei. So there's like this big sphere that's like the boss like the the maybe the home of the spheres. And the sphere here, there's also little spheres that are like the villains too. And not only the spheres can fly around, they can also 
give power, give sphere powers to existing kaijus already, like this. Who's the name of this kaiju? I'm not that big of a fan of Ultraman I am as all uh, as I am a fan a big fan of Kamen Rider. So Ultraman I've only watched like a few Ultraman series like G the Orb Rub Z Trigger then So this will be my sixth Ultraman series. So this is like a sphere based Kaiju. So this Kaiju, this is this existing Kaiju gets the power of spheres and we can see the arm the two arms just being more bigger than usual with crystals or diamonds. Those are the spheres. Okay. So Kanata Asumi, just like a lot of others lot of other main characters in on the Ultraman franchise, they almost die becoming Ultraman and then the Ultraman save them and then he becomes an Ultraman but they cut it before he cut Henshin or transform and we go to Guts Select so Guts Select this is the same organization or team of experts at various stuffs like in Ultraman Trigger, oh, the same name, Gut Select, so it's not Super Gut Select, like a lot of people thought. But yes, it's Gut Select with all brand new members. The base, the place is still the exact same, nothing different. So yeah, let's go to the characters of Gut Select. And before that, they are still using the nurse they say. The Narsa Desei, the Narsa Desei. Yeah. So our first character, Ichika Kirino. So our heroine in this series. Okay. So Ichika Kirino is a member of the newly reorganized Gut Select, appointed as the team's ground assault operative, or Shinjo Kogeki Tanto, bright and optimistic, she is hot blooded with a strong sense of duty and responsibility. She is athletic and though small in stature or st stature stature, she can dodge and maneuver quickly. She tends to overthink things, leading the captain to call her a headstrong genius. So she and two others, which is our main character and another character, they are three beginners in Gut Select, just like in Ultraman Trigger, where Kengo, Akito, and Yuna are three new beginners in Gut Select. So Ichika Kirino is also 20 years old. She's played by Yuka Murayama. I've also talked about this in the cast. And yeah. So Ichika Kirino will be our main heroine. Or the there's two heroines, but this is like a main heroine, like Yuna, and the other one will be like Nanase in Ultraman Trigger. So yeah, let's move on. So our next one, which is our final trio beginners in Gut Select, we have Soma Ryumon. Soma Ryumon. Soma Ryumon, or Ryumon Soma, is a member of the newly... Blah, blah, blah. He's, the he's the pilot of the Guts Falcon, which had been repurposed for a remote-controlled, unmanned vehicle to be manually piloted to one. Always calm and collected, his cool personality doesn't often let him show his emotion. So he's... He's just the cool one. After being saved by a TPU member as a boy, he was caught in a monster attack. He began training himself and found his calling in Gut Select, joining against his father's wishes. So his father doesn't want him to be in Gut Select. He swore to become the best to prove to his father that he made the right choice. He always assesses the, situ the situation with a critical eye, leading the captain to call him an observant genius. 
He's also 20 years old and he's played by Nobunaga Daichi. So yeah, this is Soma Ryumon, our final trio beginner. And he's the pilot of the Gut Falcon. Okay. Next character. So this is probably the most interesting one out of them all. Because he not only played in Ultraman Decker, he all the actor also played in Ultraman Zero the movie back at 2010 maybe. Yeah, I think it was 2010 or 11. He was the first human host for Ultraman Zero. So maybe he this is the same character, just disguised as a new person, just like this guy with a new name, but he's still he was he's still the same character maybe. Suddenly he appears as Ultraman Zero here, that would be cool. Okay, so Yuichiro Asakage is a scientist belonging to the Terrestrial Peaceable Unions Technology Division or TPU. So he's not technically a part of Gut Select. He's more of the scientist like the Karizaki George of this series. And he developed he develops the technology for Gut Select's combat vehicles. He visits the Narsidese to deliver new armaments ar armaments he creates to the crew. Befitting a scientist, he is always calm and composed. And if roped into battle, he can control the mechs or give commands to their pilots. Yuichiro Asakage is 31 years old. And he's played by Yuko Yanagi. And yeah, he's probably the most interesting one. But there's one more that is also a bit more a bit interesting too. Actually, before we get to the interesting one, one that I said, we have Heichi Anui Tsu, or Heichi A N E Tsu, or Hane Tsu, or Hane Hane. No, it's probably not Hane Hane. So Hane Tsu, or H A N E Tsu, or Heichi A N I Tsu is an AI unit developed by the TPU, made to assist Gut Select and pilots the unmanned Guts Hawk in combat and communicates to the other members from within the North to the Seis command room. What's funny here is that his gender or her gender is masculine programming. What? Couldn't you just give him like a, a real gender? Like how does he talk? Like. Like this or like this? A girl's voice or a boy's voice? And Hane or he, I'm just gonna call it Hane 2. So Hane 2 will be voiced by Hiroshi Sushida. And oh, here. Hane 2 is based on Hane Jiro who could arguably be called the mascot of Ultraman Dyna. So will Hane 2 will be so will Hane 2 be the mascot for this season? Maybe. And another interesting one is Sawa Kaizaki. So why is she interesting? She also played a heroine in Ultraman Saga back at 20 something. So she's played Sawa 2 in Ultraman Saga. So is she the same character? Maybe. But I don't watch. I didn't watch Ultraman Saga, the movie. So I don't know what her character is. But she has the same name in Ultraman Saga as she does here. So yeah, Sawa Kaizaki is the vice captain of the newly reorganized Gut Select and operator of the Narsudese. She's a dependable older sister-like figure to the team's new members, Kanata, Ichika, and Ryumon, who in contrast to the mild-mannered captain, commands them with stern words. So this is the Nanase of this season. 
Although she is the pilot and operator of the Narcissus Day, the team's mobile mothership and anti-monster monster battleship, she's actually a leading authority on monsters holding a doctorate in biology. She's 29 years old. She's played by Sai Miyazawa. And yeah, moving on to our final character. How long is this video already? Wow! Okay, the final one. Let's chop this up. So the final one, we have Taiji Murahoshi. And before I talk about his description, he's 38 years old and he's played by Masayaki Kawada. And Masayaki Kawada is played in Kamen Rider franchise too. As the Kamen Rider reboot in 2005. Kamen Rider the first and the next year, and a cameo in Kamen Rider Kabuto. And he's also Master Red in Ryu Soldier. Okay, so Taiji Murahoshi is his character's name. Taiji Murahoshi is the captain of the newly reorganized Cut Select, a junior to former captain Seiya Tatsumi. So Seiya Tatsumi was the captain and trigger. He was once a flying ace before he left the front lines. To work as the principal of the Terrestrial Peaceable Union Training School to raise new recruits, or the TPU. But after the Sphere invasion, he returned to the field as a new captain. He has a calm personality, always bright and smiling, but he's strong to the core. He takes off his glasses when angry, but never loses his smile. His wish is to protect the countless precious things of the people of Earth. So he's the captain of the season. And yeah, so this, so he's played in three of the Tokusatsu, three of the main Tokusatsu franchises, Kamen Rider, Super Sentai, and Ultraman. And in three of them, he's played pretty important roles. Then maybe this could be the most important one, because in Kamen Rider he's only in a movie. So yeah, moving on to more of the story. So here we have Guts Hawk. So the guts hawk here. This is really cool. It's all red and it's here in the 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 TPU base, or is it inside the nuts? They say no, can't fit them. So this is the guts hawk. It's all red, so it's like the guts falcon. Just that the guts falcon is yellow and a bit more like smaller or thinner. And what's interesting is that the guts. Falcon can combine with the Guts Hawk. So the Guts Falcon was introduced originally in Ultraman Trigger, and now it can combine with the Guts Griffon. And no, I mean the Guts Hawk to made to make the Guts Griffon or Griffin. But in the trailer they say the Guts Griffon. I think it's really cool. The mix of the yellow and red. It's not like too shiny to like. Poof, it's perfect, it's cool, it's cool. And here we have the Henshin scene. So, here we have Asumi Kanata with the Ultra D Flasher. He of course has have the holder and he can take out the Ultra Dimension card. And when he puts it in and presses a button, it says Ultra Dimension! Why does it sound like that? Can't they make like ultra dimension? Oh, no, not like that. That's more weirder. Okay, so this is the ultra dimension card, the Decker Flash type. Put it in, and then Kagayake Flash Decker. Okay, and then he becomes Ultraman Decker Flash type. This form is so cool so trigger was like eight seventy percent tiga and for this it's like 50 percent dyna the body has just changed like especially like the chest let's get the let me get a more better picture later okay wait here look look at the chest that's just so cool and it goes to the show the shoulder patch then look at the top of the helmet and the color timer 
the timer is not in the middle like it's always been it's in the edge here i think that's cool and in the middle there's like this galaxy ish everyone says it reminds them of the trauma that cross saber brought them i mean it is a repaint but the debut was very cool and uh, up here it's also galaxy ish and i think it's really cool okay going back here there's the Kozen here. So the Kozen. I forgot what the Kozen name is. I think it's like Zenjin Kozen. But it's really cool. So he does this. He makes a circle. And then... I move the whole table. Okay. So here, we have the same picture just now. And he's holding... Let's get a more bad, better picture of that. Here, he's holding the Ultra Dual Sword. Or the Decker Dual Sword. So it's a dual sword. A dual wielding sword. So you can split them in, in two. I think, yeah, you can. Because first the name is Dual, dual Sword. And then just look at the sword. Look at the sword. There's a literal line there so you can maybe maybe not now so yeah but i would like to see like more action from the ultraman themselves not using the sword like just punching just going crazy and yeah and in the bottom of that if you can see just a bit in the bottom of the sword it looks a lot like the bottom of the trigger glitter the glitter trigger hyper key maybe it's just a small coincidence or is it intentional we don't know and here too we have ultraman trigger power type wait strong type ultraman trigger strong type and i think this form is also super cool like the chest becomes more smaller and then there's a shoulder patch too here and also like a patch to down in the legs and then like the galaxy from the top of the head becomes fire it's really cool and of course it becomes a little bit red and then miracle type the, the type that i don't really like why do i not like this it looks like it doesn't look that armory if you can put like a shoulder patch somewhere it would look more like the two other forms but Sure, it's cool too, I guess. Yeah. Like, I like the stripes on the body. And it's like the f the speed type of this one. And, yeah. And the up, it becomes like a blue galaxy. Maybe it's supposed to be water. So, yeah. That's it. So, yeah. That's all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, and share. And comment down below you talk about Decker about the characters the store okay not the story the sphere the villains the forms and just decker in general i really love this and i can't wait 9th july on the ultraman official channel and yeah i so can't, i just can't wait to there's a lot of things that's coming next month so july there's gonna be the summer movie for levi's too which is Probably not gonna come out in other countries besides from aside from Japan. But Geats will appear at the end. So we're very close to our first look at Geats. I mean we won't get to see Geats anyways, but I'm very excited. So yeah.